Hello everybody, today I'm going to be looking at angles and how you could use a protractor to help calculate angles even if your protractor is only 180 degrees and you're trying to measure reflex angles it could still be possible. So first up I want to show that just like in an earlier video I pointed out it's 360 degrees in total for a circle for a complete angle and you can get that by adding your 90 plus your 270 degrees. Also, if we shorten one up to make it as close to zero as possible, it shows that the other one is 360 degrees, as we'd expect. Now, when it actually comes to using a protractor, first up, we'll just set the protractor to be on. Actually, we'll take, leave the protractor off and we'll hide everything. So now we're going to try and calculate B with the protractor. So first up, I'll just move it somewhere random. <coughs> And then as we can see, the red line is matching with the zero, which is where we want it to be. And the other one has gone pretty well on 120. So I would say when I go to show all, it will say 120. 120 degrees, there it is. That is what this interior angle is. I'm gonna hide them all again, turn the protractor off again, and we'll pick a different value, maybe over here. Now again, we will turn our protractor on. Again, it's set to zero. And again, there it is up to, I'd say 35, 35 or 36. And they're calling it 36. It's probably about 35 and a half to be honest. The red is right in between the two lines. So that's how you use a protractor normally. You've just got to make sure that your zero line matches with one of the lines of your of your angle and or of your shape, sorry. And that way you can figure out the angle when you see where that other line intersects with these little markings up here. <clears throat> so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the same sort of thing, but now we're gonna try and calculate a reflex angle. And I'll show you about that. So for a reflex angle, you're which is what A would be. Because as we can remember from the earlier video, a reflex angle is greater than 180, but less than 360. Now, 180 means straight line. So this is clearly bigger than straight line. It's clearly smaller than full circle. But now how would we be able to calculate it? So the way that we would calculate it is 360 degrees minus the known quantity will get you the unknown quantity because A plus 138 degrees has to equal 360. Because if we shut down A to nothing, it's 360. They both together have to add up to 360 degrees. They are a full circle. So a way that we could do that, and I can show you in practice. So remember, it's just 360 degrees take a known quantity. So this is if you've got only a 180 degree protractor, just like what this one is. So first up, we'll hide everything. We'll chuck this in a random spot. Let's say over here, get our protractor going. There we go. We've got the zero, it all matches up nicely there. And that I believe is right on 65. So it's really 360 minus 65 to get your answer. I'll even bring up my calculator to show it. 360 minus 65, and that'll be 295. And that's when we go to show all, it will say that this one here is 65, B is 65, and A is 295. And that's exactly what we need to do. Just 360 minus a known quantity. I'll show another example. So again, we'll get rid of the protractor. And we'll put this one over here and we'll get out a protractor zero this one goes up to oh, I don't know if they're going to call that 164 or 165 it seems to be nice in between I'll move it down to 165 so if it's 165 for B that means A has to be the remainder so again 360 minus the known quantity of 165 that gets us 195 
and that will be the answer 165 or 195.